Yeah, totally agree. Processes, data governance, that is big. And it's funny you say that. I even did a video on that about data governance because of how important it is. You know, so that's great. Awesome. That, and then the other thing, just though, just to expand though, we get that the whole data governance, the lineage, which I think now we're starting to see a huge demand in, in data catalog because people want to understand what's out there. But but with data quality, you mentioned too, getting the data cleanse, but speed. Do you, would you agree that also getting the data cleanse and speed are also important because it's business asking for the data quicker and faster nowadays, or is it still the same demand you would say, uh, what would you? Yeah, I think for sure. Uh, and I think that also like plays hand in hand with the whole like, uh, all the organizations trying to be like data driven or and democratizing their data. A lot of like the end users, business users expect the data to be available like right away, which like they don't like know the process involved in like getting, you know, ingesting that data, right? And put like modeling it, architecting it uh, so that they could use it in a nice like format uh, or nice like uh, structure on the back end. So I do see that a lot. Um, like a lot of times like you like, you'll have like some business users, you know, make a request, oh, you know, I need to report on this data like right away, or, you know, I know it's like out there, like I know this like source system somewhere is like ingesting it or, or is using it, right? And like, they just don't know the process of, you know, being like us having to like actually like build out the pipeline and like design that for them. Um, so I, I do see that a lot. And, you know, the often case is like, like as part of like the whole agile movement, right? We try to be agile, like we try to like iterate on the process, right? But I think data quality, uh, like as a whole, like it just takes a lot of iterations, right? It takes a lot of like time and it takes a gradual process where you improve upon it like over and over. And I think from like the end user's perspective, right? It's, I could see like why they could get like frustrated, like they see like data quality issues. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just something that, that uh, I guess that, needs, that the expectations need to be set with, right? And just kind of work with the end users, right? Uh, maybe even the like front end, the, um, like developers, right? To make sure the process, right? And the strategy is installed like org wide uh, so that as a org, right? You have a better quality data across uh, the entire life cycle of data. And Max, you bring up some great points too. And that, that goes to, you know, to my last question about the trends, right? Where do you see, you know, data engineering is, is going um, and supporting organizations and what are the future challenges? And as you describe the challenge, in, especially with business not understanding IT, do you see maybe in the future more tightly collaboration around IT and business? Is there a way they can collaborate better with that? alleviate some of the challenges you mentioned about they not understanding the process they're wanting the data tomorrow mm -hmm. there was a way to collaborate would that help speed things along and, and maybe provide more clarity just curious on those future challenges you would call it or see yeah uh, i think in terms of like collaborations uh <laughs> i think that's just like depends on case by case uh ideally i think in terms of like any data like projects or data products right the end users are like who's actually going to use the product, right? So it's always important to collaborate from the beginning, right? Set the expectations, uh, know exactly what kind of requirements and what kind of like insights or analytics they're looking to do, right? Out of the actual end product. Uh, so that's always important. Um, and in terms of add additional like trends and uh, challenges, I think it's always going to be like, there's going to be new systems, uh, new types of data, right? And it's just the volume and velocity, all of it, right? It's just only gonna grow with time, right? And more and more organizations, right, will want to leverage that, right? Get gain uh, insights out of it. Uh, yeah, and it's just just adopting to those changes, right? Uh, different systems, tools. That's gonna be, I think, the main challenge we're gonna see going forward as well. Yeah, Max, I totally agree. More new systems, more data. We know data is coming in, right? It's like, yeah, just bam, 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 data. Yeah, right, I, right. I definitely see that. <laughs> well, you know, Max, I really appreciate you taking the time on a Saturday to join me and talking data and more, providing those insights, you know, the value of a data engineer, the value you guys bring to an organization to be data-driven, some of the trends and challenges you see. Really appreciate you taking the time, Max. Yeah, thanks for having me.
Yeah, Maxwell, for the folks uh, that don't know Max Kane, please connect with him on LinkedIn. You'll see his uh, URL connected below. Again, Max, thank you again for taking the time and hanging with me on Talking Data and More. Take care. Awesome. Take care. Bye. All right, guys. Bye.